to Buhari, Baesa has no grazing roots. We are fishermen. Says state's anti-open grazing law has come to stay. Baesa state governor, Duye Duri, has said that the state government's bans on open grazing is backed by law and has come to stay. Diri, who announced the government stance in a statewide broadcasting yesterday to commemorate the 2021 Democracy Day, spoke against the backdrop of the report that President Mohamed Buhari had restored grazing routes across the country. He insisted that the, the, the reported pronouncement by the president was not applicable to the state, saying that Bayesa has no grazing roots because the people are fishermen. The state government last week seized 34 cows for, breach, for breaching the state's bans on open grazing and pledged to enforce the law to the letter. The governor also said that it discounted the 38 billion naira reforms for federal projects and received 27 billion naira, which has been plugged back into, into infrastructure projects across the state. He explained that the 38 billion naira due to the state was prom, was promissory roads was promissory notes and not catch and was redeemed based on expert advice. The explanation came amid concerns that the differences between 38 billion naira and 27 billion amount to about 11 billion naira was a shortage. Promissory notes and bonds are debt instrument through which one party promises in writing to pay a determinate sums of money to the other either at a fixed or determinable future time under specific terms and redeemable before maturity at a discount. The Senate had, the Senate had on November 24, 2020, approved promissory notes and bond issuance with 148.1 billion naira as refund to Bayesa, Rivers, Cross River, Osun, and Ondo State for executing federal projects. A breakdown of the refund shows that Bayesa got 38.4 billion naira, Cross River 18.4 billion naira, Ondo 7.8 billion naira, Osun 4.5 billion naira, and Rivers 78.9 billion naira. Dury further clarified that the state government extended the discount deal with due diligence after consulting economic experts who advised that for the state to get the full value of the debt, it had to wait for the four years maturity date of the instrument or discount or discount it at market rates. He stated the governor of the of the benefiting state met and it was obvious that it made sense to accept the discount option because some funds, some second term governors cannot have access to the money when they have left office. Also given the unpredictable inflations and foreign exchange rates, it made sense to go for the discount option and it and it wants to ensure the people of Baesa that the decision was taken in the interest of the public. We got that money sometime in December 2020 and deployed it to work on the Yenegoa Oporama Road, which will connect headquarters of Southern Ijo local government area by road. Work is advancing at an impressive pace. The Glory Land Drive Road, the NTA Igbo Gene Sagbama 
a Keremon Road and so many projects that the previous administration could not complete are receiving attention and the people are free to go and see what we are doing with, with, with the funds. On the commencement of scheduled commercial flight to the recent licensed Bayesa Airport, Diri said that plans has been concluded with United Nigeria Airlines to start flight operations to and from Bayesa from July. He said that the state had talked with Ibom, Ibom Air and the airline uh, requested guaranteed that the state government uh, ident the state government it demonifies it, it for empty seats until for passengers passenger traffic grows but the aircraft has a capacity for 90. He said that as a prudent administration considering the cost of empty seat in the 90 passengers capacity aircraft the government got united nigeria airline which operates smaller planes with 50 passengers capacity our earlier plans was to start with a bomb air and we opened discussion with my brother governor of aquaibom state during our recent retreat in uyo and he agreed. We immediately set up a committee to work out the modalities. Well, to contribute to this uh, ongoing uh, news, the first things that need to be talked about is um, uh, talking about that, uh, the grazing, the grazing uh, uh, programs that has been banned it seems that uh, president muhammad Buhari is trying to uh, is trying to, uh, to, to to make another alternative possible and uh, the governor of Bayesa state is is clarifying that Bayesa state is a uh, is a watering area it is it, a water terrain state that uh, there is no route for uh, open graze for animals. So he's clarifying the president. But I don't know why Mr. President, President Mohamed Bari, is trying to make all the states to give portion of land to Fulani headsmen. I don't know what that agenda is. In fact, that is what is succeeding, breaking Nigeria into what we are talking about right now. It seems that this man did not understand what we are talking about. He continued doing it. Do you think people will agree with him? I tell you, as far as that project is in the mind of the of the of the president of Nigeria, I tell you, people will continue to object and repel the program because nobody like Flanny Hetzman and their cow to come to the land and be destroying it. Because I don't understand those Nigerians belong to Flanny Hetzman.